Hello and welcome to another edition of Barnet TV's Local News Update, keeping you informed with everything that's happening in and around the community of Barnet. If there's a story you know of that we're not covering, maybe an event or significant local development, let us know. Email contact at barnet-tv.co.uk. Firstly, a quick reminder that London moved into Tier 2 this past weekend, which means no mixing of households indoors, including pubs and restaurants, avoiding public transport where possible. Whilst it may seem like a step backwards, these guidelines are in place to help battle the ongoing situation of coronavirus, keeping Barnet safe. So remember to spread positivity, kindness and friendliness to those around you, as in difficult times, every little gesture counts. Do you still need to apply for your child's secondary school place for September 2021? Just to let you know, the deadline for applications is October 31st. Now, due to the current situation, Barnet schools are expected to replace their traditional open evenings with virtual events this year. However, do check the individual school website for the latest information. Don't delay, apply today at barnet.gov.uk forward slash schools and education. London Rivers Week takes place from October 24th to November 1st. Now in its fifth year, the week aims to raise awareness of London's network of rivers, how they benefit the community and how we can continue to protect them. With more than 30 kilometres of beautifully restored stretches of river to explore, the week will include opportunities to learn about rewilding rivers in London through films, walks, cleanups, talks and hunting down Secret Rivers. Get involved with a socially distanced community day at Burnt Oak Brook in Barnet on Saturday the 24th of October as part of London Rivers Week. Book online at thames21.org.uk. Free organisations have received £1,000 each as part of Shearman Ratrandra Loving UK's Support Our Superheroes campaign. One of the beneficiaries of the donation is Noah's Ark's Children Hospice in Chipping Barnet. The funding will help pay for volunteer projects and equipment for both staff and those the organisation helps. A state-of-the-art sports facility providing new educational and career opportunities for the Barnet community and Middlesex University students has moved a step closer, with Saracens and the University agreeing a deal for the use of the new West Stand at Allianz Park. Middlesex University has committed to increasing their use of the space by making it the new base for the London Sports Institution and School of Health and Education departments. The new stand will also include a cutting edge media centre to be used as a learning zone outside of match days for the charitable Saracens Foundation, local council and other partners. After the success of Barnet TV's first issue of Inside Burnt Oak magazine, we're excited to already be putting plans in place for publishing our second issue. If you'd like to participate and take part in our December edition, let us know. IBO at barnet-tv.co.uk That's all for this week's latest local news update though. Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on social media at TV to stay updated with everything that's happening within the community. I've been Dave for Barnet TV and I'll see you again soon.